Hi, this is Tony, a user of KW, and today I'm going to walk you through installing Open 890 on Windows, and then also go through some of the new features uh, that I've added lately. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, to download Open 890 is uh, go get it from GitHub. So uh, the easiest way is to just search for Open 890 GitHub in your favorite web browser. And you'll see, you'll find it pretty quickly. And once you're there, uh, you want to look on the right side of the page for releases, and the most recent release is always shown in this spot right here. So you can see 006 is the latest release, and I published it about uh, 12 days ago. So click that. If you're on Windows, uh, download the Windows x64.zip file. Uh, the Linux file uh, should work on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, I'm not sure if it works on other Linux dis distributions though. So uh, if you're on Windows, click the zip file. And I'm just going to open it with my, my zip file manager here, it's called 7-zip. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to extract uh, Open 890 off to my desktop here. Okay, and I'll just close 7-zip here. And it's super easy to start. All you need to do is open up the Open 890 folder. And you should see an Open890.bat file for Windows. And if you're on Linux, uh, .sh file. And if, so if you're on Windows, just go ahead and click the Open890.bat. And a terminal should pop up pretty quick here. If all goes well, you'll see that it says access open 890 web endpoint at localhost 4000. So I'm just going to copy that, paste this into my browser. And the first thing you'll do is uh, set up a connection to your TS-890. So it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is name it. I'm just going to give it name of default. IP address is just the IP address of the, your TS-890 on the network. And user and password is the KNS user and password that you've set up on the radio. And it's not the main admin account. It's um, when you go into the user list, uh, there's multiple accounts that you can add and create there. Um, I will eventually put a sort of how-to guide on the Open 890 wiki that describes that process, but you uh, should be able to figure it out. So once you do that, uh, just add your KNS user and password on the screen. And uh, auto start option here, uh, when Open 890 starts, uh, it will automatically start that connection for you. So hit create. You'll see the connection details and uh, that the connection is stopped. So click start. And when you hit start, you should hear your 890 beep and you see the uh, running message here. And all you need to do is click band scope and you are off and running. Next, I'm going to show you some features that I've added since the last uh, release that I published of Open 890. Um, most notably, uh, you can uh, finally scale the Spectrum Y axis, which is something that the TS-890 can't do. Uh, and all you need to do is find the little Spectrum Scale section here, click in the box, and you can mouse wheel up to scale up or scale down if you want to, down to one for some reason. Um, but you can make the vertical spectrum signal is a little bit easier to see and it also helps if you set your scope average to three really smooths out the uh, spectrum scope and makes it easier to see uh, the other thing you can do is uh, you can control the waterfall speed um, independently from the ts890 so likewise you can click in the box waterfall speed and mouse wheel up or down and it'll you can have it display one of every say 10 lines that it receives instead of one of every one so uh, gives you the ability to slow down that waterfall quite a bit, which is uh, very nice. Um, I've added up and down buttons on each of the controls, so you can uh, adjust the, uh, for example, the span, scope span in and out directly. Um, you can adjust the scope attenuation up and down, scope average up and down, so it makes it uh, just all that much easier to, uh, to use the radio from a web browser. Um, I've also added AF and RF gain controls here, so you can either click in the bar to set the volume, or you can mouse wheel up and down, uh, just like the other control, super smooth. Um, I've also added IF filter 
info such as the width shift and the roofing filter so as you control it from the radio you can see it update uh, all that stuff that info in real time and you can also click filter a b and c to choose what you want uh, f also you can change bands and modes uh, all you need to do is click the frequency get this nice handy uh, band selection screen and you can just click the button to go to 20 meters upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, and so on. It just operates exactly like the band buttons on the physical radio. Finally, the other feature that I added was the ability to create your own custom macro buttons uh, for scripting uh, control of the radio. So uh, in order to do that, they're not um, they're not enabled by default, but to do that, all you need to do is go into the, your Open 890 folder, where you extracted it, uh, go into the config folder, and you should see a file here that says example.config.toml. All you need to do is control C and control V to paste that. Rename it to config.toml. Let's remove the example. And we'll go ahead and open it in your favorite text editor. And if you scroll down, uh, you can see a list of uh, UI macros here. And basically all it is is a label for the button uh, that will appear uh, in the user interface and a list of commands to send uh, to the radio. And these are the commands that are available in the uh, TS-890 programmer's reference uh, PDF. Uh, uh, there's a link to it in the top in the comments of this file, uh, which will take you straight to the programming reference. Uh, but the general... Um, format is the name of the button and the list of the commands. So here you can see the 40 meter SKCCCW uh, button and it'll execute FR0 which is the main receiver, set the AVFO frequency to 7055, uh, sets the operating mode to CW and a bunch of other operating parameters. Um, likewise you can set a 20 meter FT8 button and it does a similar thing where it'll tune over to the 20 meter FT8 frequency uh, and run all these commands to set up your radio for running FT8. Once you've done that, save your file, go back to the web browser, and all you need to do is reload your page, and now these buttons will appear in the order that you created them uh, in your user interface. So now if I click 40 meter SKCCCW, you'll see the radio respond, change a couple parameters, center in on the frequency, and set the zoom to a certain range. Uh, likewise, go to the 20 meter FT8 frequency, it'll flip over, set the zoom in the range, and you're off to the races. So hopefully that gave you an idea of Open 890 and some of the features that I've added recently. Um, if you want to kind of keep up with uh, my plans of what I'm working on, uh, if you go to the GitHub page, click Projects, go to Beta Release, and you'll see a list of tickets of features that I'm uh, working on and kind of the order that I'm planning on working them on. If I find bugs, if people report bugs to me, I'll add them here and I'll kind of keep a prioritized list of um, uh, features and just the order that I'm going to be working on the items. I'm also active on the Kenwood TS890S group.io uh, group. Um, there's a couple Open 890 threads, and uh, so if you run into it, if you've got some feedback, suggestions, bug reports, uh, I, I pay attention to that mailing list also, so feel free to uh, post any ideas or bugs that you find uh, to the mailing list as well. And that's it. Thanks.